Hello from Yes Queen channel. Um, thank you very much for watching this video. And today again, I would like to have a lesson on LGBTQI plus issue. And why would I why I would like to have this lesson is because you know I am sexual minority myself, so I'm familiar with the terms. You know, for example, um, the first video I would I talked about you know coming out and outing. You know, what are the differences? people ask me you know what's outing what's coming out so I realized you know that I've been ignorant you know um, I should make sure that people understand the terms before I talk about it so this is why I'm here giving the lesson about LGBTQI plus terms so today uh, I would like to talk about you know LGBTQI plus what does it stand for so I'm gonna start and I actually prepared a little whiteboard, but I'm not sure if you can see it. So maybe I will try to like um, put a picture on the side like here so like you can um, see later. But anyways, um, um, this actually help, helps me to like explain the term. So I'm going to use it for myself. So, so the reason why I would like to use this uh, whiteboard is because um, actually, when we talk about, you know, um, LGBT, um, I think it's very crucial to explain that we actually can categorize the gender in four indices. So actually, like, everybody has different gender within themselves. That's the point. And so what are the indices? And that's why I prepared this board. I'm not sure if you can see it, but um, let, me, let me explain to you. Um, so... One is body, you know, how you were born, and heart, so how you feel about yourself, and love interest, which gender you're attracted to, and then sexual expression, uh, how you like to express yourself. And so you can see, like, you know, if you tend to feel like female or male and all. So let's use my case. So me, my case, um, I was born as a woman, so body, female, check, and then heart how I feel about myself um, I feel like I'm a female I'm a woman so check female and love interest so now like um, I'm in love with my girlfriend so you know I I'm so in love with one woman only so like right now it's like definitely female check but actually you know like before I used to date I'm sorry <laughs> before I used to date men as well you know, but still, you know, like I think uh, I tend to think that women are more like attractive. So I would like to have like a narrow range for my case for the love interest and sexual impression. So sexual impression, uh, as you can see, I like to dress up like, you know, like so-called like not like so-called like type of like female. So um, female check. That's my case. And actually it can vary according to like each person so for example one of my best friends she was born as a woman check she feels like she's a woman check and she feels like she her love interest she's attracted to male so check here and um she likes to dress herself up as a woman so female check but like you know it can be anything so for example like one of my one of my friends so like was born as a woman check but he feels like he's a man so check but then he's attracted to men, so check. And he likes to express himself as a man, so check, you know. So as you can tell, um, these indices show that everybody has different gender identity or sexual orientation. So I think it's going to be helpful. So um, now back to the question, what does LGBTQI stand for? So L is a lesbian. You know, lesbian, they feel like they're women and they get attracted to women so that's lesbian and gays they're born as men and they get attracted to men so check and bisexual i mean they're born as women and they get attracted to both male female and male and vice versa they're born as man they were born as men and they get attracted to both women and men check so that's um sexual orientation you know and t t is different because it's about gender identity so what's the case? So they're born as, I know they've, they, let's say they're born as women, but the hearts, they don't, they actually feel like they're men. 
or again vice versa they were born as men but they feel like they're women so that's transgender that's gender identity so um l lgb lesbian gay bi are about sexual orientation but t transgender it's about gender identity so it, it actually talks about different um you know category and also q q actually includes two terms so one is questioning questioning people are the ones that they're not sure about their sexual orientation or gender identity so questioning and a, another one is queer queer is the total name for all the sexual minorities so i am one of the queer you know and queer might sound familiar to some people because if you love netflix and if you love queer eye if you love fat five you are my friends you know like queer eye is amazing if you if you use if you already if you're already using netflix and if you please if you haven't watched it please watch it because it's amazing it makes it makes you happy it makes you motivated it gives you joy you know it's amazing it's an amazing program with amazing five people so yeah i mean i'm even like thinking about making a video about you know queer eye because i love it so much yeah so that's q and i i is intersex intersex people are the ones that you know they're born with the both body structure you know they have both male body structure and female body structure so that's intersex and um, nowadays um, they have A, LGBTQIA. So A is asexual. So asexual people are the ones that have no romantic feelings for anybody. That's why they are called asexual. And I mean, there are, there are many more terms, you know, for example, P, pansexual. Pansexual people are the ones that fall for like all types of people and so on. But if I keep talking, you know, like I would keep keep talking like forever and the purpose of this video is to understand you know what does the LGBTQI stand for so this is it so thank you very much for watching this video and if you have any questions you know please leave the comments and um, if you can kindly like like the video and subscribe to this channel that motivates me to like make more videos so um, if you haven't subscribe to this channel please subscribe to it and please like this video and so thank you very much for watching this video and see you very soon bye